So now what we'll do is we'll just try to complete this helical gear part, okay? So as it is, it's uh, horizontal, just try to notice the dimensions from here, okay? So what we'll do is we'll start it from here. For example, I'll just uh, go to this. Just select this part here. So you see it carefully, okay, and see from where I'm taking the planes and all. You just try to do it in the same pattern. So it will be helpful, uh, helpful for you guys, okay. You can hear me clearly, right? No issues with my sound. No issues, no, right? Sir. Okay. No, no, no sir. issues. I'll be just uh, doing this sketch from this front plane. See what he has given here is so just to try to concentrate on this part, just because this circle, these gear cuttings, and these two things, and this circle. So this thing, what you are seeing is nothing but these circles, okay? So this one, these gear cuttings, and these two, and this one, three steps. What you are seeing, the main thing what you have to notice is this one. See, uh, you have to notice on this part, okay? So this part you can see around here. So this one, this yes, circle. Sir. So the diameter for that, uh, how much he has given for this one, the circle. Uh, so here it is. So he has given it as dia hundred, right? Hundred only. So just to go with this circle. I'll make it as hundred. Okay. At the same time, I just create this axis lines. to your exact vertical line at the same time we'll just take an exact horizontal line from this curve to this okay so now what we have to do is we have to create this part from here to here a straight line and from here to here to create this he has given the line length of how much 15 right so he has given us the line length of 15. So I'll just take this line here and just create a line like this. And I'll assign the dimension to this as 15. So for the 15 and it is not equally divided. So what we have to do is, so we have to just select the control button, first entity, second entities, and upon which it should be, let me say that uh, symmetric. So just click on symmetric once it is done we just we need to check the distance from this line to the center he has given it as 85 we'll just go to the smart dimensions from this point to this point he has given it the dimensions as 85 so the next major important thing is just we have to create this arc so to create this arc we don't have any dimensions we'll just take this arc as a random that is 6.65 to make that 65 arc what i'll do is instead of using any circle or arc i'll directly go with this three point so that is nothing but the starting point the ending point i'll and just i'll give the uh, what do we say the shape to it and i'll say give the dimension for this one as 65 so i'll assign the distance as 65 are you guys uh, clearly hearing me right Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So now I'll just mirror this entity. So that is meant this arc should be mirrored here upon this mirroring line. So once it is mirrored, so what I have to do is I have to assign the distance between these two arcs so that he has given from here to here as 40. Okay. And just directly take it from here to here, it should be exactly at a distance of 40. So we don't need to make them symmetric now just because I have mirrored it, right? So once the thing is mirrored on some uh, equal distance, they'll become symmetric automatically. So once it is done, so what I'll do is I'll just to make it a circular pattern upon this. So just click it here, go with circular pattern. So I have to come down. So I'll just click on this, I'll make it blue. I'll select this as the entities uh, to be patterned, okay? So once it is selected, 
I will increase the number of entities to six. Six or five. See, six, right? Yeah, it's six. So I'll just say okay to this. So I've told you if it is not constrained, just try to move the entity what you have. Uh, uh, what we say that pattern and you will get the center point of it just hold the control button select this guy and this guy and leave the control button and make them coincident so once it is done it will be clearly seen that it has been fully defined so the next step what we have to do is see you can notice there is no line between this one okay it is only directly connected like this okay so to do that what we have to do is we have to remove the extra material from this So once it is removed, it will be fully defined. I'll just say OK to this. So the next step, what you have to do is we have to create the same sketch on a different plane with the distance of how much? What is the distance between the plane? What is the distance between the plane we have to take? Can't you hear me? Yes, can't you hear me? Hello, can't you hear me? Hello? Yes, sir, we can hear. Yeah, then uh, I'm asking you something. Yes, sir. So what is the distance we have to take for the second drawing sketch? Meghana, what is the distance? Meghana, what is the distance we have to take from the first sketch to the second drawing sketch? Sir? What is the distance we have to take for the second sketch to draw? 40, I think, sir. You think 40? I'm seeing diagram, sir. Okay, just see, look at it, what it is trying to say. It's 45, right? 40. 45, not 40. Yes, sir, 45 units. 45 units, right? Yes, sir. Megana, didn't you got that? How 45? Just see here. Just look at the screen. The plane for the drawing the second sketch is at an offset of 45 units from the first sketch plane. Okay. For the third sketch, it is at the offset of 95 units from the first Thank sketch. You. Okay. Okay, sir. Now, what we have to do is I'll just go with this reference geometries, select a plane. And just uh, it is taking that much of time. Okay, so once it is done, just click here. Go to this front plane and assign the distance to this as 45. So once it is done, just say okay to this. So now see this, this is very careful. Be careful, just select this. I'll go to sketch on this. I'll make it normal too. So the major thing what you have to do is you have to create a center line and the next thing what you have to do is and you have to rotate that sketch 15 degree so that's why I'm just taking this line from here to here and I'll assign the angle from this center line to this guy with an angle of 15 degree. So once it is done, the process, what you have done here, you have to use the same process upon the line of 15 degree rotated, okay? So to do that, what you have to do is, I'll just take them away. So now, I'll just take a line like this. So instead of the first thing we have created here, now it is shifted to here. So I'll just create it here. 
So now once it is created here, the major thing what you have to do is you have to make them perpendicular. So I'll just select this and this line by holding control and I'll leave it. I'll make them perpendicular first. So once they are perpendicular, now I'll just go with the dimensions. So the dimension for the first sketch, how much you have given? For this line, in this sketch, he has given it as 15, 15 mm, right? See, I want you to be speaking with me. Sir, 11.25. 11.25, he has given there, right? Yes, sir. So how 15. this 11, how this 11.25 came means this 15 into 0 0.75 you have to do. Okay. See, he has reduced the dimensions here. Okay. Each and every dimensions need to be reduced. And while giving the dimension to this uh, cross lines, be careful. Just select the dimensions, select the line. See, don't take the dimensions like this. See, it is coming in a straight pattern. So just try to move your cursor and take the dimensions in that exact way. See, just move the cursor, it will come. Coming right? Yes, sir. So now just click it. And the easiest way is 15 into 0.75 you'll take. Automatically, it will take the values, okay? Yes, so once it is done, again, I'll just go with control, these two and this line. And then make them symmetric. So once they are symmetric, so each and every dimension should be reduced. The dimensions, whatever you have used, should be reduced in this sketch to 0.75. I'll just take this circle and I'll just create it here. So the first dia what we took was 100. Now I have to take it as 75, right? So once it is done, the dimension from this point to this point uh, it should be the uh, earlier dimensions was 85, 85 into 0 0.75, I'll take. So it will be something 63.75. So once it is done, just go to this three point arc again, select this point, select the circle, just give a random shape to this first. So once it is done, just go to the smart dimension, select this. So the radius it was earlier 65 into 0.75 take. So it is 48.75. So now what I'll do is I'll just go to this mirror entities. I'll select the entities to mirror, mirror about this particular line and I'll say okay to this. So let before we have assigned the dimensions from here to here as how much 40 right so 40 into 0 0.75 should be reduced okay so it is around 30. So once it is done just go with the same old procedure of uh, making the sketch pattern so to make the sketch pattern so what you have to do is so just uh, select this circular sketch pattern sorry just click on this Select these three entities. Just increase the number to six and say OK to this. So once it is done, so the same old process, just click any one of this. Just try to drag it from, try to drag it away. So once you try to drag it away, you can notice this, this is the center point of it. Just hold the control button, this one and this one, just to make them coincident. So once you just click on this coincident, sketch will be fully defined. Once it is fully defined, just try to trim this extra entity, whatever we have. Be careful. So sometimes this kind of things will be reminding. So once it is done, I'll just say OK to this. I'll say exit to this. Way. So now we have successfully completed how many sketches? two sketches. Now we have to move to the third sketch. To create the third sketch, again, just go with reference geometry, reference plane. So the reference plane will be the front plane. And we are taking the third plane. So what is the distance? It should be 95 units. Okay, very good. So again, I'll just go on sketch. 
and making normal to so the first image step what we have to do is we have to create a center line first once the center line is created so again just go with the line to be tilting so now what is the distance it should be taken 15 degree so if you want to take 15 degree just take it from here to here as 15 or if you want to take it from the center line you just take it as 30 okay yeah very good in the last class we have discussed upon this so just make it as 30 so once it is done just go with the same uh, sketching process just create the circle here now the dimension should be reduced exactly to the 50 percent right so that means 100 will become 50 so now i'll just create this line so be careful while creating this line here so it should exactly be perpendicular okay so if it's not coming just hold the control this line and this line just to make them perpendicular okay it's already perpendicular we have made it perpendicular so the next thing what you have to do is again just go with this uh, smart dimensions this reduce the dimensions of uh, this guy it was 15 right so 15 into 0 0.5 0 0.5 now we are dealing with the third sketch right so it should be reduced by 50 percent okay so now i'll just select this control this now this point this point and this line so these guys should be exactly symmetrical so once they are symmetrical so again i have to deal with this uh, smart dimensions from here to here earlier this guy was 85 now 85 into 0 0.5 take it will be something 42.5 so next again i'll just go with this uh, three point arc here so just select this just click on this guy so make it something look like this and assign the dimensions to this one as uh, uh, how much 65 into 0.5 we'll just take it so once it is done we'll just mirror this okay so this one has some mirror entities entities to mirror mirror upon this line so once you say mirror so you have to assign the dimensions to it from here to here earlier it was 40 I and mean, then be careful while giving the dimensions okay just try to give the dimensions exactly parallel to it so it was 14 to 0.5 will be obviously 20 so once it is done the same old fashion just go to this circular pattern select this entity box convert it to blue and just go on selecting the lines or the entities whatever you want to pat so just increase the number to six and i'll just say okay to this so now i'll just click on this I'll just go trim entities. Oh, sorry, I'll just make it uh, and fully defined first. So just hold it and just try to rotate. The point will be coming out from this center. Just hold this control. And these two guys make it cons. I'll say this two cut others, no issues. So once it is in, just click on the trim entities. Just turn this entities like this. Okay. So once the three sketches have done, just say exit to this. So now it's on your choice. So whether you want to go with lofted boss bar base or boundary boss bar base. If you want to go with lofted boss bar base, you have to give the what we say that uh, guide curves. Okay. So this one curve through reference point. So it's better to directly go with boundary boss bar base and just try to select the shifted points here. So that means this point has shifted to this. And again, this point has shifted to this. Okay. So now the full part will be coming 
with all the three angles of rotation upon the all the three sketches okay. let's look at this same right any issues so just uh, this plane will be confusing you i'll just uh, make it hide you are right click and just make it hide the the what we say that the bottom part is very much easier just to do that just select exactly uh, this top plane go upon sketching here just uh, make it normal to so i'll just show you roughly okay so just click on this just create on center line like this so now what i have to do is just take the line command and just create half profile of that uh, circles for example see if it is uh, given if, it, if this thing has given is the diameter just convert those things into radiuses and do or else you just go directly with the circles no issue so just show you roughly so something like this Again, something like this. So just keep it here and then just revolve it. Okay. So just go to revolve. And so okay, it is. The whole the helical gear will be created. You just do it upon the dimension what he has given okay so this is nothing but the isometric view of it the same thing what you are seeing here okay so just do it by yourself okay no issues right any issues any doubts any doubts no sir no sir